Hey guys, how are you going? Welcome to another video. And as you can see, I got myself the 70 to 200 image stabilized f 2.8 L ultra stabilized motor lens. And I'm very, very excited. Um, this has been a product of a lot of hard work over the summer for myself and a lot of planning and a lot of research. As I said in my last video, this is the last piece of the puzzle for me of my camera gear collection so I can start heading out into the field and doing the widest range of things possible that I can do. And yeah, as I said, I'm, I'm really excited. Um, I went up to Melbourne over the weekend and got it at one of the shops up there and I brought it back down home, still sealed in the box. I've not taken it out of the box apart from when they opened it at the shop just to check that everything was all good. So I'm gonna do a bit of an unboxing and a bit of a quick review and, and just basically show off the new lens. So yeah, I'm excited. Let's get into it. All right guys, so just opening the box up now. As I said just before, it has been opened once just at the store, just to check that everything in there was okay. But otherwise, this is the first time that I'm opening the box myself and having a look. So firstly, all the warranty details that come with it. I'm sure I'll look over them probably later. The phone packaging. Plastic. Oops, there's nothing else in there. So it's a really, really nice case. Um, the LZ1326 case um, for some of the bigger pro telephoto lenses. Um, yeah, it's got a couple of straps on the side. I think there would be a strap inside the case as well. Maybe a little carry handle on there to attach it to a belt or something. Yeah, it's, it's really nice. Um, a big double zip on the front and some Velcro. There it is. There's the lens. There's a little strap for the for the case and uh, the big lens hood. Wow, that's huge. All right, as for the lens itself, wow, it does have weight to it. People aren't lying when they say it's got weight to it. It's certainly big. Okay, wow. Yeah, it's very, very solidly constructed. It's all metal, all weather sealed, all the telescoping functions or zoom functions are internal, so nothing, um, nothing's gonna stick out of the lens. If I was to zoom, that's the focus ring, which is really smooth, actually. Yeah, nice. And there's the internal zoom which also is really smooth but it's it's heavy as well so i'm not going to accidentally zoom or move it out of place as to where i currently have it it feels good nice little gold label down the bottom there's the um the tripod foot mount which also does feel really solid so Obviously, because the camera is so heavy, um, it's gonna it's gonna weigh the camera body and the lens down a bit if you've got it sitting on a tripod. So they've sort of um, put the put the weight more towards the middle. All right, I've just got my uh, Canon 600D here, which I'll just test it um, with the body. Um, test the lens with the body on it, I should say, because um, I'm filming on my 5D Mark III. So I'll just use this in the meantime. And yeah, this camera feels like it's about to snap off because it is only small, but yeah, wow, it's impressive when it's on the, on the camera body. It feels very weighty and, and, and strong. This, I definitely shouldn't have it on this camera body. It's a big step up, but um, no, it feels good. It feels good in your hands. Maybe the lens mount, you can move it over, but that's fine, there's plenty of space to one. Um, Use the, the zoom ring and the focus ring. 
adjustment buttons on the side here. So the bottom one is the different stabilizing modes. So the first one I believe is just for general uh, movement, um, up, down, left, right, and the number two I believe that's more for panning. So if maybe you're at a race and you're moving the camera left and right, it stabilizes it, stabilizes it more towards those um, areas. That's just the general stabilizer switch on and off. Um, again, the buttons feel really strong and um, don't feel like they're going to get knocked off or broken. And as I said, it's all uh, weatherproofed and water sealed. So I'm sure there's some form of sealing underneath that as well. Auto focus, manual focus, pretty standard on the side as well. And the different focusing ranges too. So we've got 1.2 meters to infinity and 2.5 meters to infinity. So that's exciting too, that it does have those different um, ranges as well. So if you're doing something maybe a bit further away, maybe sport, um, footy or racing or something like that, you can have it at that further range and get the, the optimal results. So yeah, guys, I'm, I'm very excited to have, to have got this lens. Um, like I said, it's been a lot of hard work and a lot of time spent um, researching and waiting for this lens to come. Um, into my collection and I'm sure I'll be using it for a variety of different things such as sport, uh, weddings, events and things like that and um, getting better results out of it than I'm getting out of my current zoom lens. Um, yeah, I think I'll be doing a couple tests with this today and um, coming back th with the results just to see um, just to see how it looks but I do just want to see what it looks like with the... Okay, <laughs> that looks cool. Um, yeah, it makes it look much better when the lens cap is on. Yeah guys, so like I said, I'm going to go do some test um, footage, some maybe some video. There's, um, there's a couple spots around nearby that I'll just go around quickly and take some photos and then otherwise we'll be back and just have a look at the test footage. So I'll see you in a sec. Alright guys, so as you can see I've just gone out and filmed some video just down at the paddocks nearby on the way towards Torquay. This is just handheld um, using the stabiliser so it's not completely stabilised with a rig or anything but you can see how well the, the focus goes on the, the subjects closer towards the, the, the lens. Yeah, so I had a quick little play around with it just at the paddocks as I said. Got some pictures of the cows out there that I always go past on the way down to Torquay. Really looking to test that compression of the background, that nice bokeh uh, towards, the, towards the background and how well the um, subject got into focus as well as the, uh, the wider um, portion of the lens, the 70mm end. It has uh, yeah, quite good sharpness towards the middle and this is just a zoomed in portion of a picture showing the detail that it has on things like hair and, and the eyes. That's the full picture there. As you can see again, the barbed wire going across the front or the electrical wire going across the front is blurred out quite well. Just this last picture coming up, that's my dog, has a really good representation of the bokeh in the background and how well the background can be blurred out when when you have the subject in frame and and yeah it, it still has that that really nice detail towards the middle and obviously if you widen the aperture you can get some more focus towards the outer edges but yeah I'm, I'm pretty impressed with it so far definitely looking forward to using it in a variety of different situations I can see myself using it for for weddings, getting detailed shots of like a ring or uh, some flowers or a dress or hair it, it, and, and that's, that's what I've got it for is those, those detail shots with that nice compressed background, the nice bokeh, having the subject in the centre of the frame and having the crispest, sharpest detail possible in the middle. Like I said, my current zoom lens has done me well so far but it's time to step up to that next level and get the uh, the more professional results and more consistent resu results as well. Um, sometimes when I went to the footy with uh, my old zoom lens it just was very grainy because it couldn't handle the light but this one being f2.8 it, it will be able to handle that a lot better and that's something I'm definitely looking forward to to using and yeah like I've said the whole video I'm very excited very happy and yeah 
Otherwise, I'll be doing a few more videos over the rest of the summer, um, getting out and taking as many pictures as I can, trying to get a little bit of work here and there, as well as working at my normal job. Like I said in the last video, the AFL footy season is not far from starting away, so I'll definitely be looking forward to using the lens in that situation. That's where I started taking photos, and that's what my favorite hobby is now, I guess, taking photos at the footy, try to get as many games as possible. So yeah, um, definitely will be some good footy photos coming uh, within the next few months. So, Otherwise, thanks for watching this video, guys. Um, I hope you felt excited as I was about getting this lens, and I hope it sort of passed off onto you. Thanks for watching again. I've really appreciated the support so far for anyone who has been watching and who has messaged me and let me know. Let me know any criticisms or anything I can do better in the video. I'll take any constructive criticism from anyone. I'm happy to receive it. Otherwise, guys, yeah, I'll see you in the next video.